I've actually been coming here for a couple years now. And so I grew up as a youth doing this and putting the, the poppies on everybody's um, memorial. And it's super, super special to see all of these great kids giving back and showing their respects, especially with this Memorial Day coming up. Uh, it's pretty awesome, you know, that we have uh, people that think of our veterans that served our country and we want to honor them. As you'll know, it's our honor wall here. Anybody that served in the military and that has passed on gets their name on the wall. My uh, grandfathers are here, my dad's here, my uncles are here, and it makes me proud to know that we have people that want to honor those people that give, gave us our freedoms. And so let us not ever forget if it wasn't for them that we wouldn't have the freedoms we have today. And I don't want anybody to ever forget. That's why I bring my kids up here, my grandkids, and just show them what it's all about and so they can honor and respect those people that, that served and gave their lives for our country. Hi, I'm Natalie. We're from Troop 979 in Spanish Fork. We've got all age groups. Uh, this is Amelia. I'm Adelie. And I'm Maggie. Mm -hmm. Oh, don't let him touch the ground. We're, as part of the service project, we are putting up the flags, crosses, and poppies for, uh, for Flanders Field. I guess that's why the poppies are. <laughs> and each of the crosses has uh, the name of someone who served ha or has uh, been killed in action or just was a soldier and came back. Well, one of the reasons it's fun is because it's big. There's so many people, and anyone can join. Spanish War people, Springville people, little babies, or uh, people that are pushing 80. I will tell you, that there's a lot of difference from this year and last year with all the the, the people that came out. We because of COVID, we didn't be or we weren't able to get quite as big a crowd as we did this year, and it's really does my heart good to see all the volunteers from all the Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts, community community leaders were here as well as community members and we, sh we appreciate that very much and, and it's good to have. Every veteran that is buried in this cemetery has a cross with their name on it and this is how we try and, and keep their memory alive. As we walk, as you walk through and look at the names, you'll recognize very, very many of the names, people that you've grown up with, people that were your teachers, people that were your neighbors uh, and this helps, helps us remember these veterans. Uh, this couldn't happen without a lot of good, good uh, people here in the community. We have Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts, uh, all kinds of citizens from Spanish Fork and surrounding areas to come and help us set this up. And I just want to say thanks to all those who participated today in, in getting this done and set up so we can remember those veterans that are here. Every cross has a flag and a poppy on it. And as I was placing the poppies around those flags, I wanted to know no more about them. And so I looked up this poem that kind of gave me more insight onto why they're so important. In Flanders Field, the poppies blow between the crosses row on row that mark our place and in the sky, the larks still bravely singing fly. Scarce heard amid the guns below, we are the dead, short days ago. We lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow, Loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders Field. Take up your, our quarrel with the foe. To you from failing hands we throw. The torch be yours to hold it high. If ye break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep, though poppies grow in Flanders Field. <laughs>